Okay, we're here at Pineapple Dance Studios with uh, Chris Tomlinson. But Chris, we're not doing any dancing. What, what are we actually doing down here today? No, well, we're down basically. Uh, Alpha Male, one of the sponsors of UK Athletics, have decided that with the World Championships being out in South Korea and uh, Korea's national sport being Taekwondo, they'd bring down some two legends of the Taekwondo world, uh, Sarah and Andy here, and they're showing us some, uh, some moves on, on how to hit people to the head. <laughs> And the guys are really getting involved here. We can hear it. Is it a pretty serious impact when you get here? Yeah, I mean, it is pretty serious, to be honest with you. What people don't realise is the speed that they move at. Um, when you actually sort of you watch some, some of these sports on TV, you sort of you don't appreciate it, but when you're actually in the ring and these people are sparring, sparring with you, the speed that their feet are just travelling around is phenomenal. And uh, we said you've really been getting into it and enjoying yourself, so have you missed out? Should you have been a taekwondo? Uh, I don't know if I should have been taekwondo. I don't know if I like getting hit in the head. I think that's my problem. Uh, I'll stick to the long jump, but it's certainly good fun. And uh, does long jump help in this at all? I mean, the flexibility? Maybe? Well, you would have thought so, but my flexibility isn't great. However, I do think um, a bit of uh, a broad spectrum for a lot of athletes would help, you know, sort of the flexibility that you were gaining from martial arts and the, and the sheer strength certainly would be a big advantage. And how have you been enjoying yourself? I've seen you uh, definitely getting involved down again. It's, it's good, yeah. I mean, I really want to kick Andy Turner's head off and Chris Thomason. I want to get in the scrap with those boys, but I think uh, they've still got the pads on, so I'm going to wait till they're, uh, they're off. <laughs> You've definitely got the height on this, I suppose. Yeah. Maybe you'll be able to kick Andy in the face? Maybe if I had a run up. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's such a, a hard sport. I don't speak, you have to be so agile and nimble. And you can tell we're all struggling to do the kicks and stay in without losing our balance. Uh, it's, uh, it's a tough sport, it's a lot harder than it looks, and uh, they make it look really easy. So it's good to take us through our paces, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, we're going to have a few aches in the morning, I'm sure. And how much fun is it to have about different sports and hang around with a lot of the Team GB athletes? We're all obviously going to spend yeah, a lot of time with each other. Isn't exactly, it? So, yeah. Well, hopefully, they'll be in L uh, London next year, and, and uh, we'll recognise them in the village, and we'll have a chat and uh, see how things are going. And, I'll be able to support them on and then they'll be able to come and watch the athletics and support us on. And we've seen uh, all the guys having a go. Any of them take your on? Yeah, they're all good. they've all got the potential, haven't they? So it's a bunch of their skills, so it's good. You can tell they're all quite competitive as well. We can see them really trying to kick each other in the face. I mean, a bit close to the World Championships for getting injuries, though. Yeah. They all wanted to spar and yeah. kick each other. To they all want to be the best as well, so it's... <laughs> It's not bad, is it, coming into a World Championships anyway, so that's good. And obviously, martial arts and taekwondo, it's not like on the forefront of many people's minds when they think of Olympics, but if you two perform well, would you like to think that you could like inspire a new generation? Yeah, it sounds like Sarah in, in Beijing, she definitely inspired myself and a thousand other athletes, so there it is, so it will only bring more people into the sport, for definitely. And is it nice to sort of be with fellow you know, Team GB members because obviously at the Olympics you're all going to be together and it's quite a nice atmosphere where we all sort of egg each other on to do well. Yeah, it's great because when you're at the Olympics, you know, from past experience, it's the only time you ever really see any more athletes, um, especially before when we used to train um, in Loughborough where, was, you know, we didn't really see many many other athletes that were in the Olympics and now we're in Manchester, you see all the cyclists and a lot more athletics um, guys and you know, it's nice to meet them and then when you get there you can say hello and you can wish them well and you can, you know, it'd be nice to see other athletes succeed as well and we'll support them.